While Democratic Party leaders left Philadelphia united, they say, behind Hillary Clinton, there are serious questions if Democratic voters are willing to toe the party line. Best evidence, perhaps, by the raucous pro-Bernie protests outside the DNC. For more on this, the boys are back. Mark Levine, radio talk show host, Virginia state delegate and Hillary Clinton surrogate, and Harlan Hill, former Bernie supporter and now chair of Dems for Trump. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you guys. Glad to have you. Harlan, I see you're casually dressed, no bow tie. Uh, did the <laughs> DNC in the four days of uh, Democratic kumbaya change your opinion? Are you on the Hillary Clinton train yet? No, if anything, I'm spending some time on the floor talking to other Bernie Sanders supporters and Hillary Clinton supporters. It uh, made me realize that this party is more divided than even I thought. And I was really discouraged after speaking to a lot of Hillary surrogates by just the smug condescension, condescension with which they spoke to, uh, to, to Sanders supporters like myself. Uh, there is no unity. Uh, I understand that a, a hefty percentage of Sanders supporters will go for Hillary because they have no other choice in their mind. But, uh, but it's, not, uh, it's not because that we're you know, a unified party. Mark, this is, seems like a problem for you guys. Not at all, Harlan. Some of my best friends are Sanders supporters, and you're no Sanders supporter. You are clearly a Trump supporter, masquerading as a Sanders supporter, and you're not fooling anybody. More than 85% of Sanders supporters are on Hillary Clinton's Trump train uh, and have been, before the convention, I suspect we'll get up to 95% now. Compare that There's to the Republican that trademark Party. trademark condescension from a Hillary Clinton supporter. Well, that's right the point. Is that's that, is exactly it, what I expected Well, from but you're you, not Mark. a Sanders and supporter. Know, Listen, do you support Sanders over Trump? Polls. Are you a socialist? Are you a socialist, Harlan? Is that what you're saying? Uh, most, most Bernie Sanders supporters aren't Democratic Socialists. They're uh, what are you? Are you a socialist? A quarter million dollars do you, in do you support no job process. You know what? You don't support Sanders That's over Trump. You never did. You're a Trump supporter. Tell me what you like about Sanders you know over what? Trump. You know what? There's what a lot like. of commonality between these two. Let me talk. There's a lot of commonality between these two candidates. The biggest issue to Bernie Sanders supporters is trade. Uh -huh. And the only and why did you support Sanders over Trump? Or do you really support Trump all along? consistent on trade is, San, uh, is Trump. And, 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 and I cannot trust Hillary Trump Clinton. Trump, the this. guy that outsources to McCullough. China and outsources his ties and his vodka and everything else. Tell me why you support somebody that takes jobs away from Americans Because we don't have the manufacturing capacity that we used to in this country. Oh, I see. He's a well, business It's not Trump's fault Mark, for putting jobs in Mark, China. I, 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 I understand the, the reason to question Harlan's pro-Bernie uh, credentials, and you all can continue arguing about that, which I'm sure you will. But at the DNC, you couldn't help but find a number of Bernie Sanders supporters who said, I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. Take a listen. I voted all my life for a Democrat. And now you're willing to vote for a Republican? I'd be willing to vote for Trump because I want change and I want to get him out in four years. I don't want eight more years of Hillary, which is going to be guaranteed because she's the first woman. Rather than a Bernie guy going to Trump, you're a Hillary guy going to Trump. Right. And not only that, I think I represent a vast number of uh, Democrats who are just so fed up. Everybody can't stand both parties. And the bottom line is that it's not that America can't vote for a woman president, just not this woman. This woman is so corrupt, so bad, and nobody in the Democratic Party will hold her accountable. Mark, I know you're going to take issue with everything those two people said, but give me a sense of what the Democrat, Democratic Party has to do to win those people back, because they seemed like they were gone. Yeah, I think those two people are a couple of outliers. Look, if you are a Bernie Sanders supporter, you know wait, who wait, the wait, more wait, progressive Mark, Mark, candidate Mark, is. Mark, 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 I, mean, I, understand, that I understand you want to say they're outliers, but I was out on the streets. There were thousands of them who are not outliers. Leland, you can look at the polls. Look at, for example, the Republicans, okay? Cruz, number two candidate, refuses to endorse Donald Trump. John Kasich, the governor of Ohio, refuses to show up. Bush Sr. and Bush Jr. won't show up. You've got uh, uh, John McCain not showing up and, and uh, Mitt Romney not showing up. That is a party that's really divided. Compare that to the Sanders supporters who want Hillary Clinton to be more to the left, but recognize that she's a lot closer to them than Donald Trump. I'm not worried about a couple of people who don't want a woman to be president. I don't think they are in the majority. Oh, my God. Mark, Mark, come on. They never said it was because she's a woman. You know, that both of them ridiculous. mentioned that. I cannot believe that you're, you're, you're just, you're trying to devolve into identity politics, and nobody's talking about that. 
Well, and, and moreover, talking about polls, you're entitled Part of, to your, you, your you own opinion. You had on your you website. Are, you are entitled to your own opinion. That you didn't like socialism and, and you claim to be a Sanders you, supporter. That's when, my point. When you Real Sanders at, supporters support progressive values. I was never Hillary. I was never Hillary. And you can go back and look at the hundreds of appearances. Yeah, but, that but you I've have an opinion TV that you don't like they, socialism. They, we, you were also never Sanders. Okay? I you're a Trump a, supporter. Am, and that's that okay. That is not true. That is not true. Look, you know, I am never Hillary. I supported Sanders I, until I, it became clear that he was not on a On Holland's website, candidate. he says he hates socialism. Uh, gentlemen, I, Come I think on. We, we, need, we need one of those bells to signify the end of the round here. Although, although Harlan, i got to give you points for the Daniel Patrick Moynihan quote. Appreciate you guys both being here. Uh, we'll have you back again. Thanks, Dylan. All right, thanks, guys. Liz? All right, after the break.